clear? It's that man again. It's that man again. It's that man again. It's the Tom we have He may be a philological filibuster, but despite his passion for prevarication, this terminological inexactitude in Arian still remains. Smiles with pride and joy, this is Henry's boy. Oh, it's useless to complain. When trouble's brewing, it's his doing the turn. That man again. Did you have to sit the high street in the Cation Avenue? Look at the time. What's your watch say? Tick, tick. Ah, oh, Mr. Town Clark. Uh, Mr. Burr, this really isn't purr. The council's in session and you're not there. Well, I'll go to the foot of the house, sir. Get somebody else to take the chair. But I can't balance the rates. Well, in that case, I'd better juggle with the petty cash. <laughs> Nine pence returned empties, tenner each way, fetlock funny, one and fourpence hush money. That's uh, throw away two, carry nine, fly away Peter, fly away Paul, apples a pound, pears, watermelons, we have not put down those plums. No, it's no good. I shall have to raise the rates again. Hello? This is Paul. Speaking. Oh, thump call, eh? Beware, Mr. Mayor. Your end is in sight. Good Lord, is my shirt hanging out? You won't hang out much longer, Handley. Fun will get you. Fun has spoken. Oh, go and strain your cabbage water. He can't frighten me. Says you. Ah, now, let me, now, let me see. Where was I? Oh, ten bob to come back from the dogs. Two shillings for second-hand sweet tickets. And then... Hey! Where are you going? That's right, straight through and up the stairs. This place is about as private as a cup final. What am I talking about? We haven't got any stables. Hey! Excuse? Well, if it isn't old ping pong pants, what do you want? Please, mister. You give me permission to pedal on your pier? Certainly not. Any other town I pedal where I like? Well, you can't pedal here. It upsets my curriculum. Oh, pity. No, me, mister, please. I sell you a very nice coffee on you. Very pongy, very sticky. No, thanks. I don't smoke. No, like him? No. No, mister. What? You buy a nice pretty postcard. Very pretty lady. Very warm. Very saucy. How dare you? Let's have a look. No, no, no. Four shillings for a look. I wouldn't give you fourpence for the lot. Oh. Now go on, hop it. And don't darken my dado again. Oh, mister. Go on. Mister. What? I go. I come back. I don't care if you never come back. And now back to the chiseling. Uh, these marbles are leading me up the wrong alley. I'll try my Wall Street account. Now, uh, let me see. Uh, bears, bears, two bears, four bulls, two nanny goats. Price pudding, if it comes down, divide by 16. Move to the right in fours. And the... Can I do your nails, sir? Well, crack me on the cranium. If it isn't Mrs. Mop, the child with the bottomless bucket. Can I, uh, can I ring you out, sir? What do you think I am, the old year? <laughs> I think you're an old rascal, sir. Ha <laughs> ha, you've been reading my diary. I've, uh, I've brought this for you, sir. Ah, my robe of office. Help me on with it, Mrs. Mop. I'm expecting the summons at any moment. Oh, another of them nasty things, sir. I mean from the council chamber. I believe they wish to pay me the oh, honour... Oh, then I can have me back wages, sir. Pay me the honour of re-electing me for a further term. Oh. Don't jump to conclusions. Now, go easy around Tattenham Corner. I've mended the rent in the rear, sir. Yes, and you've brushed up all the banquet stains. I shan't get any more till after the war. And they're the vintage ones, too. Now, where's my chain of office? I've seen it lately, sir. Oh, 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 hey, boss! Oh, oh, boss! Oh, oh, Something oh, terrible's oh, happened! Not now, Sam. We haven't any time for accidents this morning. Help me to look for my chain. We can't half an hour. We'll meet at the plough. Oh, I... I chanced to confine a canter in canine with your choice chain, and the canine was chased by a cantankerous cat and careered quickly across the corner, carrying the chain conspicuously. I beg your pardon? Oh, oh, oh. Listen, I Sam, can't you ever make a dry statement? You mean you tied a dog to the end of my chain of office and he's scarpered? Sure, boss. Tonight's performance of Itmar, which will also be seen by television viewers in the Concert Hall of Broadcasting House, is honoured by the presence of Their Majesties the King and Queen and Her Royal Highness the Princess Margaret. Your Majesties, Your Royal Highness. Ladies and gentlemen, Itmar. <laughs> Portland, please. That man, that man again. 
gentleman to see you, Miss Hotchkiss. Did he give you his name? Oh, yes, miss. It's a short supply of the ministry. Oh, dear. Um, oh, tell him I'm engaged. Engaged? My dear Miss Hotchkiss, have I been guilty? Oh, so short. I felt I couldn't face you after what happened last week. Mr. Handley making us pretend we were married. Oh, to me, that was the splice of life. <laughs> <laughs> you naughty man. You mustn't make those overtures. <laughs> now, where is Mr. Handley? Good gracious, someone's coming down the chimney. Oof. Well, is my place black. Hello, folks. Mr. Hendley, what is the idea of coming down the chimney? Well, it's the only way I could get in here. <laughs> you know, there's a man outside actually cleaning the walls with a piece of bread. <laughs> anyway, what's going on? Mr. Hendley? Mother! <laughs> Where's my bottle? What is this chimney nonsense? Well, I'm rehearsing for Christmas. You see? I'm Stafford Claus, and if you're not a good girl, I'll put a photograph of Mrs. Strachey in your stocking. <laughs> What's fighting you, Sir Short? Well, I have some important news for you. The government wants you to visit Broadcasting House and make a report. Well, I should want a Russian bodyguard. <laughs> a Russian bodyguard? Yes, 12 big men who don't say nothing, they just keep moojik along. <laughs> oh, well, anything you like, you'll have an absolutely free hand. Go to it. All right, I'll start by visiting the dungeon where they keep the studio audiences. I'm sure Mr. Handley understands what you want, Sir Short. Oh, splendid. <laughs> Bye-bye, babyface. Set our talcum powder. You know, you can tell he's a permanent civil servant by his tea-stained moustache. He'd do anything for a lump of sugar. Well, now, investigate Broadcasting House. Well, I've often wondered what went on in there. Mr. Handley, this is your greatest hour, your finest story. Ah, but you haven't heard my latest. I don't want to. Oh, it's quite all right. It's, it's a fairy story about the American who came over here for a square meal. What a, what a piece of nonsense. Piece of nonsense? That's what he said when they gave him a dog biscuit with a pilchard on it. Don't! I, 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 I don't know. I ain't seen nobody. I'll get him. Try that one <laughs> Miss me. Hello, Sam. It, it's the boss. Hey. Oh. Gee. Gee, boss, it's good to see you. Well, I mustn't be seen, Sam. They're after me. Anyone been in? Sure, boss. There was a man a moment ago... What, a big man with a hammer toe, a bowler hat and a real light? No, boss. That's him. That's him. Where is he? Where is he? Look out, look out. He's coming back. I'll have to hide. Well, hop in my pocket. Thanks, I will. Stop me! Stop me! Stop me! Has he gone, Sam? Sure, boss. You can come out now. Oh. And on a moment too soon. What do you keep in your pocket, pigeons? <laughs> no. No, boss. Ferrets. What, not Miriam Ferrets from the Pig and Whistle? Uh, what? Why was he after you, boss? Well, I paid me income tax twice over. I'll soon be in the money, Sam. I'm getting a big government grant. What for, boss? Welfare. Welfare? Welfare evermore. <laughs> uh, I knew we'd say that. <laughs> well, now, first of all, I got to establish headquarters. You know, a great big place like the BBC, only funnier. <laughs> I got it, boss. Next door, there's an old fun fair. Fun fair? One, two. Fun, fun fair, fair evermore. <laughs> now ring up the agent and tell him we can't have one without the other, will you? 